Hello, in this series of videos I'm going to take you through the first uh, exercise uh, in InDesign and um, I'm going to approach this as if yeah, I'm going to assume that you don't know anything about InDesign and maybe know either nothing or very little about Adobe products so we're going to just start right from the beginning. This is an introductory course, uh, possibly this might be the very first exercise you're doing um, in the program. So I want to point out some stuff about saving files and all that other stuff uh, as we go on here. So the um, InDesign is used for typography and layout. Uh, for the first group of exercises in this course, I'm going to use InDesign to teach basic principles of design. So we're going to use it a little bit differently than what it was designed for. Um, in this exercise, which is graded, you're going to get an intro to the InDesign workspace. You're going to learn how to make basic shapes, how to use the selection tools, and how to duplicate, adjust, and move shapes around. Um, as again, InDesign is used for type and layout, and it's a really, really powerful piece of software. And we're going to cover InDesign in more depth as the semester progresses, and we're going to focus on typography and layout later. But for right now, we're just going to learn these very basic things. Um, we'll get there when we get there and I will tell you how to do this but I want to point out something about uh, file name conventions. I will tell you like what to name the files you'll be turning in. I ha often have over 100 students um, in a course or in a semester I mean and um, the File name conventions really, really help me organize stuff and keep track of everything. So make sure, follow, the, try to follow the naming conventions for these exercises throughout the course. Uh, have your your name in a file name. Sometimes I'll get a file turned in that just says file, you know, right? And I don't know who it belongs to and stuff, and it's it's a lot of headache. Uh, so don't do that. And uh, for this exercise, I just want to. I'll remind you this at the end, but we're going to upload two files. I just want you to remind you to, you know, and I'll remind you as we go on what the file name should be and all that other stuff, but you will be turning in two files <clears throat> for this exercise. Okay, so before we get going, um, I suggest you go on your computer and you make a folder for your school stuff if you haven't already, and uh, make a folder for this course. Now, I teach this course in different institutions, so I just named my folder this Intro to Graphic Design. Um, your course name will be different, but I don't want to confuse anybody because, again, I teach this same course in different, different institutions. So, like, whatever your course name is for the course you're taking with me, uh, give it that name, okay? And then, you know, over here in your school stuff, you know, you should have a folder for your psychology course, your history course, and blah, 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 blah. So the uh, keeping organized and keeping your files backed up uh, is really important. Um, save all of the exercises that you do in this course, okay? Some exercises we're going to do and then revisit, you know, um, and re-edit and all that other stuff. So organization is a big deal. So anyway, pause the video and set up a folder structure similar to this on your computer. Um, I'll talk about backup systems later. Let's see. I think uh, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, just set up your folder structure and uh, on your computer and I will see you in the next video.